Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And today we're going to talk about date conversation topics that uh, women should have with men. And so um, if you're struggling to figure out what you should be talking about when you're on a date and you're a woman, then this is exactly what you should be talking about. So here we go. The first one is, uh, there, there's three, three, three of them here. And the first one is telling stories about yourself. And so um, there's a few different things that you want to tell stories about. And one is your values, right? So convey your values through stories, like what's important to you? You know, um, what are you looking for uh, long term and in, in dating and relationships and if you can tell stories about not even yourself but other people and or other people that are uh, getting into the types of relationships that you want to get into it can be a really good screening method um, engaging what it is that a guy thinks about uh, that those kinds of situations and, and the things that you want. Uh, the second type of stories that you should be talking about is, is stories that convey your personality. And so just, you know, if you want to get a guy, if you want a guy to get to know you, uh, tell stories about yourself, you know, uh, that are interesting, that, um, that convey who you are and what you're about and, you know, what you do in your life. Um, and then the second thing that you want to talk about is uh, exciting or fun things that you've done in your life or that you're going to do in your life. And, and so this really boils down to having an interesting life. If you don't have an interesting life, this is going to be a hard one. But uh, you know, having an interesting life is really, really attractive to a guy. And so, um, you know, have some stories about things that you've done, you know, have um, things that you're looking forward to doing. You know, and a good way to approach uh, this topic would be to say, have you ever, you know, and then go into, you know, have you ever gone snowboarding? You know, oh, where do you go? Oh, this is where I went. Oh, I went this one place where I'm going to this place and it's going to be so awesome. And blah. You know, th those are great conversation topics because they're emotional, right? They're excitement. It's, it's interesting. It keeps the, uh, the conversation alive and it makes things more interesting. Um, and then the last thing that you want to talk about is uh, find out about his passions and let him talk about those as much as he as much as you can um you know sometimes i get women who complain that uh, the guys that they date don't open up very much to him if you want a guy to open up you know initially talk to him about his passions find out what he cares about in life and just let him you know babble on about it because most people will talk forever about whatever it is that they're passionate about and it'll make them feel closer to you you know and, and if he doesn't have anything passionate that is going on, on in his life then that could be a big red flag for you and then you know that uh, you know um, he's not going anywhere and he's not growing any and uh, so find out what he's passionate about and let him talk about that uh, so that's it for today. If you want more information on how to attract a quality man into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure you visit my website at CommitmentConnection.com and take the quiz. I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.